Hello, this is the Sky Dragon, and this is Mafia episode 15. We are finishing off these rackets with assassination. We'll kill these enforcers. We we'll head straight over there. Not so far. I'm 500 meters. So I've only got 7,450 remaining damage. I hope this takes a nice little chunk away. Alright, it's around the corner now. There we go, trying to make this short and sweet. Well, if possible. See what's going on. Uh, Alright, try to be sneaky. What are you looking at? Oh. Huh? Your tap don't belong here. That's it, man. You pay up today or we we'll take your fucking car. Oh come on! Oh shit! Just give me a shit. Keep moving. So if you don't play them. Right, it's not going quite according to plan. Oh fuck! Where am I? Shit! 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 Come on! Come on! Get it! A bit. Take you down. It. Oof, for a bummer. How about that? Okay. Oh, wait, oh, I thought we were going to there. Alright, let's take away some of this remaining. There we go. A hundred left, hundred fifty. If we take this truck out. That should do it. Damage complete. Lovely. So I'll talk to Nikki Burke. Chat to Nikki. Let's see what. Unless we've got anything else, I think that's it. This should hopefully take us to the main man. This terrain. Can't drive on it for shit. Alright, so what's going on? Bevis can't be happy about what you've been doing. Alright, so we'll accept and continue. The dis you got Carl's attention. He's back at the Sweetwater Distillery. Any idea how he'll react when I go in there? He's bug shit crazy swamp people. How do you think he'll react? Still, might be worth keeping him around. No one knows the bayou like he does. Oh, you one for this, Nikki? Damn right you do. Bevis is waiting for you. Real interested to see how you handle him. So, confront Carl Bevis. My first one too far. God, I hate this terrain. Plus, a wild heap here. Oh, 
right. How far have we got? Can't read it. Oh, a few hundred meters. So bad. So almost there. Straight ahead. Over here. Looks very familiar. The fellas say you should uh, maybe leave. So I think there's no way this be quiet. Let's get straight in. Who's that good? This was pretty dead, I expected it to be uh, pretty full. Slow motherfuckers die first. I do indeed. Run as fast as you can. Hmm. Seems pretty damn empty to me. I know you don't behind me. Straight up here. Gotta be close spot. now. Here he is. Alright. Try and catch him sneakily. Fuck me! Oh, a bit too easy. Fuck you and fuck Bark! You talk too much. Sorry, buddy. Boom shark is secured. Let's call the cool gang. Emptied out the distillery. It's primed and ready for your boys. All for still standing. My boys are on the way. Everything's in place. The butcher's on his way. Time 
Sorry to put that rabbit dog down. Lincoln Clay convince Thomas Burke, Vito Scaletta, and the woman known as Cassandra to work together. He called a sit-down. He told them to meet him at an old plantation house in the bayou. When he had them all in the same room, he laid out how they were going to take down Marcano. Lincoln could be very persuasive. So it's also code. Kill the butcher. So he's got to be like the main lieutenant guy. So again, new skill. Place to go, Austin. I want to get that best. Outside. Keep moving. Close this chat. Can't cut that. This looks good. Build it. So we're not that far. Right, they're off game up. 
Can I move? What's this all about? Getting ready for some company? Barbieri should be here any minute now. Barbieri's coming here. So he claims. Never known the man to be a liar. I <laughs> just got off the phone with him. I told him if he wanted to settle up, he'd be here waiting. For fuck's sake, Burke, you don't ever tell your enemy when and where you're gonna set up Ah, the Christ, you're much too serious about all this. It takes the fun out of it. Besides, that's the worst that could happen. You could get us all killed. Aye, that I could. It's all right. It's just Mickey. Butcher and his boys are right behind me. You sure? If there's one benefit to being your miserable daughter, it's not know what a posse of Dago assholes out for blood looks like. I'll call him out with a spotlight on the water tower. I loaded up some barrels with a special petrol mixer cooked up. I scatter them across the yard. A bullet will take them out. So don't be close to them when they blow. I'm gonna snipe those guinea fucks from the crane. You should head up to the roof. One last thing. You try to cut and run, I'll plant you myself. We clear? I'll see you when this is done. You might. You all right back there, lass? What's that? My die asking how I'm doing? Whatever have I done to warrant such fucking concerns? Ah, shite girl. A simple yes or no would have been fine. Coming down the left lane. Down with the snipers. Gonna bury you. Your time is up, motherfucker. The barrels. Coming. Up 
up there, right side. Okay. Go on the stump. How's your head feeling now, da? Oh, I feel like there's fucking fire yeah. ants crawling through me, Bran. Poor bastards must be starving. Give them a hit on the left. Don't forget the little surprise I cooked up for those hey. guinea fucks. Oh, stop. No expecting that. Okay. Let's make sure. Fuck, we got ourselves a guest. Get that stupid son bitch. Shoot. Fucking shoot. Oh. Joy. I think I generally would be better off down there. I think. Don't forget the little surprise I cooked up for those guinea fucks. Woo, that rat. I think I'd definitely throw off a pistol or a sniper. about Burke's little pet nigglet. I want the mink alive. Got it? I'm gonna give him an ass fucking. He's never gonna fucking forget. Bring him back fucking alive, that cocksucker. So the main man is here. We'll confront the bitch. Oh, fuck. I'll piss on your grave, you dago bastards. Ha ha! Alright. Let's go that fucking sniper. Say goodnight to the ex. Alright, Mel. He's all yours, boy. Oh, it's gonna head down, I think. That's all of them. Let's go finish them off. Should have saved a bullet or two. A nigger and a mech working together. Fuck me. I never thought I'd live to see the day. What can I say? Brave new world. Shall I leave then? I see the legs still giving you fits, huh, fuck up. Ah, oh, fuck you. You won't be so cocky once I take the acetylene to you. Fuck you! What do you think happens next, huh? You're gonna die, motherfucker. You're gonna hold next to me. You, your whole organization. You're gonna suck my dick in hell. You all right? Grab his legs. Time to get him into the garage. Fat cunt. 
We were never able to reconstruct precisely what happened to Barbieri, primarily because his body wasn't found until the mid-1980s. The Army Corps of Engineers was dredging the bottom of the Mississippi River, and his remains were found in the trunk of an old car. Both legs were broken so many times, there was barely any bone left. All right, that's all complete. And another mission to go. So I got me a minute to story. And we'll call that episode 15, I think. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. Bye.